Hey, what's up, Juba people? So, we're gonna learn to play this song. And first of all, you need to tune to this. I'm just gonna talk about this music theory behind the song first, so that you kind of understand the framework that you're playing in, and talk about the tuning and some of the chords, and then we're gonna get to learning the actual song. So if you wanna get straight into learning the song, then you might wanna skip a couple of minutes, okay? But anyway, to tune the song, it's basically double drop D tuning, but everything tuned down a half step as well. So we've got D flat on the top string, or C sharp, depending on what your tuner would say, and then A flat, and then in D flat, G flat, B flat, and then D flat. So these two strings are tuned down one and a half steps, and all the other strings are tuned down just a half step. So it's quite, quite a simple tuning, but it's kind of a schlep to tune there. But, you know, it's, it's worth it, because it's got that nice, a very loose kind of sound. The strings are a little bit loose, it's a little bit nicer to play, you know, more comfortable. Okay, then let's talk about the key of the song. So the key is in D, the D is the tonal center. You know, that's the, that's the key. Um, but it is not, doesn't use the D major scale really at all. It uses mainly the D mixolydian scale when coming up with a lot of the riffs, but also the D minor scale, the D minor key. So let's quickly go over the chords and I'll explain that. So the first chord, that's obviously just a regular D major, okay? And then we have the C at nine chord, which is very common to use inside the key of D, like with Sweet Home Alabama. It's that rocking kind of mixolydian sound. It's the flat seven chord in the key of D. C add nine, G. Okay, and that those the, that's a mixolydian kind of riff because it uses the one chord, the flat seven chord, which is found in the mixolydian scale, and then the four chord, which is G. So that's a very common chord to use, and and um, Greta von Fleet uses a lot of mixolydian kind of riffs in uh, many of their songs. So I see that over and over again. Okay, then this, this this next chord here, the B flat major seven, is probably the most interesting chord in this. So that's that's found in the key of D minor. That's called the the flat six major chord. So usually your six chord will be a B minor in the key of D, but now they use a flat six major chord, which is found in the minor key. So this this chord really makes the song stand out. It really brings that minor vibe. So if you're playing D and then you go to C at nine. Go B flat. It's the, the whole vibe of the song changes. So that's a very interesting chord to use when you're jamming. Um, obviously, the guy who's soloing should really know what he's doing if he wants to solo over the B flat uh, major seven. That's why they don't use the B flat major seven in the solo, by the way, because it will just mess up the solo totally. The guy would really have to keep his place. But if he, if they're using, we'll get to the chords in the solo in a second and show you how to solo over that if you want to experiment with that. Okay, so then uh, we have D again, and we have these riffs which are basically in D, D major. That's a D major riff, not even D, D mixolydian, just a plain D major. Okay, then in the verse we have D going to an A minor 11 chord, which is the same as a C chord essentially, it's just got an A note inside of it. So we've got D up here, and then A minor 11 chord, which is also a mixolydian chord. Very Coldplay kind of vibe to do. Because A minor and C are relatives, they're kind of used uh, interchangeably a few times. Okay, so A minor 11, that's still D mixolydian. Then we have this move to D minor again. But then we don't get to C, we go to a G over B chord, which is a common chord to use in the key of D. So then it's kind of like barring. And it's kind of that bass walking up. that kind of up, it's just doing, which is quite a, quite a nice nice thing to do uh, because it's it's really not changing the B flat chord a lot. It's just changing the bass note and then the whole chord changes to another chord. Then we have this riff. That riff is just basically in the key of D. Walk 
we'll cover that. Um, so I'm just covering the music theory first and then we'll we'll jam. So here, the first part of the jam with it was like this last flute solo. They have this D going to a C at nine chord. So it says The flute solo is just playing in D mixolydian, which is which is really interesting. It's it's a really nice scale to get down to understand how the scale works. It's basically just a major scale instead of a seven normal seventh note, you have a flat seven. So the major scale would be And instead of doing that they go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, da, da. And that changes the whole vibe of the song. Like, So the mixolydian mode changes all the chords that you can use and everything. Not all the chords, but some of the chords change. So instead of using a regular A chord, you'd use an A minor. Instead of using a C sharp diminished chord, you use a C chord. Okay, but anyway, um, I'm jumping ahead of myself. If you want to learn more about modes, check out my music theory course. I've got a bunch of videos on modes, which is really interesting. Okay, so for the solo, they use this chord, chord progression, which is also in the key of D mixolydian. Okay, so it uses a D mixolydian to come up with this D, A minor 11, C, and G. So all those chords fit inside. And you... About the solo so your solo options are D uh, because it's like this rock feel and with the D chord they don't really play a, a full D chord they just play a D5 chord they don't play they don't play that you can actually use this key of D uh, the D minor pentatonic scale sometimes to solo over so So you have two options, D minor pentatonic, which gives you that crazy rock sound, that and D mixolydian. So you can kind of combine those two. D minor and D mixolydian. Okay, but let's get to playing the song. This is the reason you're here. And let's jump in right to the intro. Okay, so the intro has got this D chord to a C add nine chord. Okay, now usually uh, you can use a pick or not. Um, I like to play with my fingers. So that's your regular D chord. You got D at the bottom. And the D that we're actually gonna use is a regular D, but then we're gonna put a pinky here to get that four in. C at nine chord, which is going to be it's actually a C sus two chord, but if we play like that, it's a C at nine. Okay, and be sure with this one to mute the top string. Yeah, you don't have to, but it sounds nicer to me to mute the top string. So pink is going to go all the way to the fifth fret. This might be tough, but try to put your pinky a little flatter. That can work. Now that's the hardest part, I think, of this intro. 
that might be difficult if you haven't done this kind of technique before. Usually I play with the G chord and then do this kind of thing. Okay, but anyway. So that's... Uh, so it's like a strum and then... Or you can just go... So the, the, what they're actually doing on the album is da 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 Okay, so the shape, then, that, so that's part of the intro, right? Okay, then the shape that we use here for the B flat major seven chord is... So I think the shape that he uses in the in the live version is... I, this one is definitely on the album because you can hear you can hear that on the original recording. Okay, so, so that's kind of your picking da 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 da. And if you're doing with the pick, it sounds the same. Same thing with the C. Or you could go so the B flat. Actually, with a C, they go something like that. Obviously, I'm not going to teach it to you note for note. That's not my style. Um, you want to kind of make the song your own, but I'm going to show you kind of how they come up with these stuff. These stuffs. Okay. Then we have this little crazy riff, um, and then it's like a D chord, and you count to two, and then you start the riff. So one, two. Da -da -do -da -do -do -da 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 because we got That's a little bit faster than six tablets. Okay, so we got da da da. So one, two, da, 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 da. just want to erase this because that can confuse people. Okay. So this is hammer ons and pull offs on the on the third string. All right. So there we, let's play the first line. It's basically, let's go, one, two, three, four, nine. Okay, second time, we're going to do this only the first time of the intro. The second time we start there again, Go through here, and then when we get to the C at nine, we jump to this part, which is D, but then for three beats long. So you're holding that for three beats. One, two, three. Ba da ba dee da dee. Okay, so one, two, three. Uh, middle finger there, sorry. Sliding to the eleventh fret. That's twelve. There's eleven, and then you end the in another D chord, which you use to play the verse. So it's one, two, three. Okay. Um, then we get to the verse, which is really nice. I love playing the verse. So you got D. Like a, it looks like a D7 shape, but it makes an A minor chord. Actually, an A minor 11 because we have the D string inside. 12, 10. Very rain song like thing to do from Led Zeppelin. And then B flat. So with a 
B flat, we have the same thing with the B flat, but then a G over B. This this chord too. And then we go to this riff two again in the verse, back into the verse. Okay, so that's our first line of the verse. Let's play that slowly. One, two, three, four. C at 9 is not essential, but I'm pretty sure they do it in the original. Okay. And then the second time we repeat, we just use a D chord instead of using the riff. I'm not going to show you that. Okay, then in the chorus, so we just hold that D. Okay, so in the chorus we have a C at 9. G. This is the shape he uses for G, I'm pretty sure. These two fingers at the top, this one on the D there, on the third fret. Okay, so. Um, one, two, Dario. Now, I'm not sure, in the original, he plays the riff like. Something like that, right? But I'm pretty sure this is how they play it on the album. Dario. That's what it sounds like to me. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so that's it. That's just easy. That's all it is, riff three. Okay, and then we have this interesting little part over here, which he does, which I really love. Okay, so I'll play that part slowly. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down. Oh, so That's all like D7. That's actually a D9. They're just playing around with the Mixolydian notes. That's the sound. That's the vibe of that part. Okay, so the first line of the chorus goes one, two, three. Line C G D same roof C at nine D flat D flat D diamond chord you hold it and then you go back into riff two and then you could do riff two into um, um I don't, I'm not sure. Okay, I just listened to it. They, I go. So they don't go. So they do riff two, but not into the slide. So. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Okay, and then the tag part where they start with the flute solo, they just go D to C at nine. Solo, we got D, A minor, 11, C, G. So that, that just repeats 
for the whole solo. So that's that's pretty much how it is. I'm not going to go over the solo that much. I've shown you the scales that you can use in the beginning with the music theory part. And if you want an extra lesson on the solo, I'll put it behind this one. But then just put a request in the comments of this page. And then you will be able to see me commenting and telling you, hey. You know, if we get enough upvotes on the comment, then maybe I'll do the solo as well. Because the solo is not... It's not that iconic, it's more of like a jam. So it's not to me something worth doing that people are gonna to wanna to learn for a long time. But I think definitely this acoustic riff is something that's very well written. And I mean, the solo is also nice, but it's not like, wow. You know, it's not like particularly beautiful melody to me. Um, I may be wrong. If there's a lot of you that think, wow, that solo is amazing, then let me know in the comments and I will, I will, yeah. Okay, goodbye.